bridges and viaducts in Britain. In Britain there are a large number of viaducts, but today I'll talk about the viaduct in the city of Folkestone. A viaduct comprising 19 arches, the tallest of which towered 100 feet in the air, was erected across the valley in under half a year, a remarkable achievement given the sheer scale of the structure. Trains began running over the viaduct and using a permanent Folkestone station on 18 December 1843. Strengthened by British Rail by the addition of steel tie rods within the arches, the structure remains as the world's highest arched brick viaduct. It received Grade II listed status in 1975, and joins Ainsford, Horton Kirby on a list of impressive viaducts on the southeastern division. In 1843, Folkestone Harbour was sold to Joseph Baxendale, William Parry Richards and Lewis Cubert of the Southeastern Railway Company. The plan was for Folkestone to rival Dover as a harbour for steam packets to France. To this end Folkestone's new railway line was extended to the harbour and the harbour became host to much railway infrastructure. By January 1843 the railway viaduct had been built, carrying the railway at the lower end of the branch line into the harbour. The railway brought success and financial viability to the harbour, which continued to develop as the demand for facilities grew. Folkestone Harbour played a significant role during the First World War, being the major embarkation point for Europe. Approximately 10 million army officers, service men and other personnel, and over 1 million tons of freight, traveled to or from the battlefields through the harbour.